The Optimus robot is Tesla's boldest gamble, and Elon Musk is betting Tesla's future on his humanoid robot. If it fails, the $25 trillion figure he mentioned will ultimately be nothing more than a colossal exaggeration in the tech industry. Therefore, not stopping at Gen 2, the Tesla CEO has officially confirmed that Optimus Gen 3 will arrive at the end of this year. This might be the final version, as everything is expected to be astonishingly complete. As confirmed by Musk, he wrote on X the new Optimus design, which will be completed later this year, is something special. In June, Tesla shared some updates on Optimus and the milestones the humanoid robot has achieved over the past year. According to Tesla, Optimus has undergone three major design revisions. The humanoid robot's hand has been revised four times in the past two years, but that's not where Tesla has planned for their robot. There's another generation coming still, and it wouldn't be wrong to say that it's the Optimus Gen 3. So, what does the Optimus Gen 3 have? For starters, number one, a better design. Let's start with the changes Elon mentioned, specifically design. As we all can see, the current Optimus Gen 2 features a design, size, and aesthetic that are arguably the best and most attractive on the market. Tesla shared that they aim to build their robot to resemble humans as closely as possible, despite this approach being far more challenging than creating a less human-like robot. Looking back at the current version specifications with a height of 5 foot 10 inches, a weight of 138 pounds or 68 kilos, and hands with five fingers, and along with necks that can rotate, Left and right, thanks to the two degrees of freedom setup, and feet that touch the ground and can lift up and maintain balance no less than humans. Plus, the current speed reaching 1.34 miles an hour or 0.6 meters a second, but it's not too slow considering the average speed of humans is 2 to 3 miles an hour. And, of course, it's going to get faster over time. It's clear to see that the designs of the Tesla Optimus robot gives it many advantages related to the number of tasks it can perform as well as stable operating performance. However, with Optimus Gen 3 or the next generation robot, the design will undoubtedly be optimized further. From the perspective of a team that has observed Optimus for a considerable time, several changes are bound to happen. First, it's impossible not to mention the addition and improvement of new materials for Optimus. To better illustrate what we're describing, you can clearly see the most noticeable changes when comparing the overall look of Tesla Bot Gen 1 with Gen 2, despite only about 10 months apart. The differences in the level of design refinement are quite pronounced. While the Gen 1 generation was like a pile of metal accompanied by many exposed wires, which looked quite unsightly, unsafe, and heavy, entering the new Gen 2 generation, the Tesla robot seemed to have changed 180 degrees in design with a completion rate of up to 80%, no longer revealing the metal frames, tangled wire, and crude design. This update is a stepping stone for Optimus to enter the top of the most beautiful humanoid robots. Therefore, the new design from Optimus Gen 3 will continue to optimize weight, which we can confidently assert. Currently, the metal and plastic ratio on Tesla's Optimus is pretty balanced, around 50-50. However, Tesla can start reducing the proportion of metal, especially aluminum alloys, to lower levels in the skeletal frames. In addition, instead of opting for ordinary plastics that are unimpressive, Tesla could shift to using carbon fiber or polycarbonate. These materials are extremely lightweight and durable, resistant to scratches when Optimus encounters complex environments with many machines and sharp objects. Of course, increasing the layer of external plastic, such as in the robot's wrists, needs to be more tightly sealed. The weight will also be reduced as the internal wiring of the Optimus will be seamlessly connected to reduce the number of unnecessary wires. Tesla will certainly not overlook any upgrades to each part of Optimus, especially since it hasn't received much investment in its current version. With a new design, we think Tesla could focus more on Optimus's display. What do you think if Tesla bought Next Gen had an emotional status display on its rather empty head section? An electronic screen allowing Optimus to show icons like your Wi-Fi connection, Bluetooth, battery status notifications. It could also display the progress of tasks being performed through the screen. 
We believe this could happen since currently the inside of the head isn't fully optimized with only a 2D camera inside. With a next generation that Musk mentioned integrating a variety of LED colors and a display screen on the head, it'll make it more emotionally expressive, resembling humans more than just a head covered in black without any utility. Now, we understand why Gen 2 was publicly introduced in China, despite Elon's concerns about warning and copying. So, why did Tesla display Gen 2 Optimus for a thorough study? Simply put, it's because Gen 2 Optimus is not the final commercial design. It still has a lot of shortcomings, and if competitors were to copy Gen 2, they'd still never catch up with Tesla. Therefore, we are eagerly anticipating the arrival of Gen 3. All right, let's now move on to the second improvement that Elon also just confirmed recently. Yeah, you, you, yes, you could communicate with Optimus. This is a feature that'll soon be available in Optimus Gen 3. Number two, Optimus Next Gen can talk. We're thinking about a scenario where we ask Optimus something and it can directly speak out the answer or advice, or even better, he can sit by our own bed and tell our kids bedtime stories in his own voice. Oh my goodness, tell us everything Elon Musk just said is not true. The current version, Optimus Gen 2, has no display and there's no way to make any sound from Optimus. It's still quite bland while none of us want a robot that's scary and silent. For this Gen 3 update, we believe 80% of Optimus will be able to communicate, as this is not the first time Elon has said that Tesla's humanoid robot can talk. In the recent shareholder meeting, Musk also said... Yeah, you'll be able to customize the personality, customize the voice, um, and and really kind of the robot will kind of get to know you as well and know your preferences. You won't even have to say things because it'll just kind of understand you. Yeah. As Musk said, we can completely set up an Optimus with various language models, set its voice. All this directly confirms that Tesla's humanoid robot can completely communicate using its voice. For example, through an integrated microphone in its head, it'll operate like how we ask Siri on the iPhone. But Optimus is better as it can speak and gesture with its parts to describe. On the other hand, the Optimus Gen 3 has some large language model functionality like ChatGPT to allow it to talk to its owner, which would fit in with Musk's overall vision of making a sci-fi technology more accessible. Absolutely incredible, isn't it? I'm not sure if you think like we do, but we still would like to buy it even if it can't do too many tasks. Just being able to speak and answer our questions smoothly and accurately makes it worth buying. At the very least, it could help my kids with their math as Elon also confirmed. Your companion, it can be at your house, it can sort of uh, babysit your kids, it could teach them, uh, be a teacher. Having conversations with humanoid robots will indeed become very popular in the future, especially as many adults in the U.S. are opting for solo living. Therefore, a companion like the one Elon mentioned regarding Optimus isn't an exaggeration. It simply reflects his incredibly awesome future vision. Most people over 50 will have more questions because sometimes they can't keep up with the news like the youngins can. Some also have a lot of trouble using smart technology, so having an Optimus is going to be extremely convenient. For example, instead of reading the newspaper, you just need to ask, what's new today? What's the weather like? Or who's winning the election? It'll tell you everything, and you just need to sit there and listen. It's crazy. So we are especially looking forward to this new feature and hope Elon will not let us down. Okay, here we go, number three. Optimus Gen 3 doubles the utility. One more thing we dare to affirm, this upgrade is a turning point for Tesla to almost double the number of gadgets for robots before bringing in thousands, even tens of thousands, into the factory. As Musk once said, with the Gen 3, it can do more tasks, mainly due to a breakthrough hardware update. I think we've got kind of like one major hardware revision which should be done by end of this year. Musk is pretty much putting a huge update on the Optimus robot by the end of this year, and that's where Gen 3 comes up. The hardware Musk is referring to could be a more powerful next-generation drivetrain that will allow it to improve its maximum operating speed, like a wider range of motion in the legs, hips, and waist, and it would definitely be better if the speed of movement that's compared to that of a president... (laughs) In the new generation launch later this year, we also do not feel surprised that Tesla will also upgrade the battery pack size for Gen 3, more notably when it's completely possible to 4680 battery, because as we know, the initial battery pack capacities is only 2.3 kilowatt hours at the time of 2022 for the original Bumblebee prototype. It will not be okay if Tesla does not improve the two years of development, especially when we're here in 2024, a time that Tesla is extremely strong with that 4680 battery technology. 
With a 2.3 kilowatt hour battery pack, it can allow Tesla Bot to operate from six to eight hours before needing a recharge. But for example, if Tesla switches to the three kilowatt hour battery pack, 12 hours of work is not going to be too difficult for Optimus. The larger battery, although can increase the weight of the robot, but it'll mainly affect the lower part, not making the legs too heavy when walking. Of course, there is a trade-off here. The battery's heavier, but the advantages of having a bigger battery pack are significantly more. After Elon confirmed that there will be a new version later today, plus mentioning a major hardware revision for the humanoid robot, a lot of talk from the masses say that Tesla will be working on the next hardware version, previously known as Hardware 5, but as Elon calls it, the AI5. This emphasizes its artificial intelligence, or AI capabilities, as we heard that Hardware 5 is going to be 10 times better than Hardware 4, which means that if Optimus Gen 3 gets it, it'll be hard to imagine how flexible and agile it'll be. Specifically, AI Computer 5 will achieve computational power of 700 to 800 watts compared to around 300 watts for hardware 3 and 4. However, Musk mentioned that it will be very energy efficient, especially because it's not going to run at full capacity all the time, which makes it more suitable for Optimus considering everyone wants their robot to last longer, either standing still or sitting. The Tesla bot consumes only 100 watts, and it'll consume 500 watts when moving. The AI5 chips will have a lot of computational power reserve to the point that Musk is considering using them for more distributed computing, opening up a new opportunity to make money. Of course, the increased utility and missions of Optimus Gen 3 means that its hands will almost certainly gain 22 degrees of freedom by year's end, as Musk has told us at least twice before. We do apologize for repeating this update about Optimus's new hands in multiple episodes, but we can't think of a more notable update that's worth talking about. You can't imagine how insane a humanoid robot with 22 degrees of freedom in its hands are going to be. As Elon said, it can play the piano, thread a needle water plants, or perform a wide range of tasks that has never been done before. There are countless humanoid manufacturers from China and North America, but none dare to promise tasks for their robots simply because they're not Tesla. They don't have Tesla's technology, and they don't have the genius mind of Elon Musk. Think about it. Currently, with just 11 degrees of freedom in each hand, Tesla bot can already perform delicate and precise movements like gripping eggs or battery cells, tasks that until now only humans could reliably perform. After all, everything for us is completely unthinking compared to the upcoming hands with 22 degrees of freedom that Optimus is soon going to have. And not only the hands, but with the number of degrees of freedom throughout the body, it'll also increase significantly, like in the neck, the legs, the hip. At least it can't sit down yet, right? In the recent Tesla shareholder, a share was made that also made everyone sway, and that was that Optimus could imitate actions through the videos it watched. At that time, we suddenly had the thought, what if we show it some action scenes? Would it immediately perform those action scenes in the real world with us? Just kidding. Surely everything is under control. And within Tesla's strategy, with its super premium AI and sensor platform, it is definitely smart enough to recognize and distinguish dangerous actions as well as analyze objects that could cause damage. Tesla can also censor through software. With Optimus Gen 3, we think that the sensor system and deep learning will be significantly improved, allowing it to achieve a much better self-learning ability than our current Gen 2. Now, remember when Optimus Gen 1 was being showcased? Gen 2 already existed. Therefore, it's easy to speculate that Gen 3's been trained in some secret facility at Giga Texas. Gen 2 wasn't the official version, so Elon Musk wasn't worried about it being copied. Rather, it had many flaws that still needed improvements, hence it became unnecessary and can be displayed for any reason. Elon previously announced that during the hiring of an Optimus would occur before Tesla officially sells these. We don't know yet how much we would have to pay monthly, but 100 bucks seems reasonable. If it were you, what would be the maximum monthly payment you'd consider for a humanoid robot at your home that can clean, organize your kitchen, cook, wash dishes, garden, do laundry, and take out the trash? In the case that Gen 2 might start limited commercial availability by 2025 and Gen 3 will be sold the following year, although not certain, looking at what Tesla's pushing forward, we think that this is a reasonable timeline. Four, Tesla's making progress with Optimus. 
Recruitment activities for Optimus are picking up again, signaling Tesla is accelerating its pace in building and developing humanoid robots for a timely tech launch later this year. There's currently 25 job listings for Tesla's bot, compared to just one listing five weeks ago. Job listings in the AI and robotics field have doubled to 60 in the same period, covering Optimus, FSD software, the hardware, training infrastructure, plus Dojo. Therefore, the possibility of Optimus being available for hire and sale next year is entirely feasible. Clearly, Elon has ambitious plans for Optimus, envisioning a future with two humanoid robots per person on the planet. This vision is accompanied by a rapid construction pace of a billion humanoid robots a year, with Tesla aiming to build at least 100 million or more annually. With these figures, Tesla sees the market capitalization of Optimus doubling that of FSD, around $20 trillion, with projected profits estimating at around $1 trillion annually at scale. This translates to an anticipated profit of $10,000 per unit, marking a significant achievement. As Elon mentioned, Optimus Next Gen will undergo a complete redesign with a strong focus on refining its arms, wrists, and overall hardware to achieve maximum performance targets set by Tesla. Musk has shared Optimus' lofty goal of replacing humans in specific tasks, especially those involving inherent dangers. This opens up a promising vision where Optimus becomes not just a machine, but a reliable companion or dedicated caregiver, providing peace of mind and safety. The image of Optimus diligently working on construction sites or quietly contributing in factories serves as a testament to its immense potential. Optimus's unique feature is its ability to perform tasks with absolute precision, surpassing human limits. It's designed with a high focus on safety and efficiency, ensuring that every action is controlled and completed perfectly. In doing so, Optimus not only reduces the burden on humans, but also opens up a new future where humans and robots can work together to create feats that are more outstanding than ever before. So... How do you feel about the launch of Optimus Gen 3 later this year? And will you buy or rent to experience one? We hope you'll have the most relaxing feelings after watching this video. If you did, please hit the like button and join the Tesla Car World family by subscribing to our channel. And don't miss out on any of our awesome videos by hitting the bell icon. We value your feedback and your time. Thanks so much for watching, and we'll see you soon. Until then, stay safe and have fun. Bye. Thank you.